I'm a parent who had no choice but to become an advocate. After dealing with the abuse of my son, I found that others were being abused, that this abuse was not an isolated incident. Many of the things you will hear me say not only happened to him, but also happened to others. My son was incarcerated in 1999 at 18. In 2001, after the atrocities of 9-11, the prison began denying Islamic literature, which he complained about. Then he began receiving bogus misconducts, which are write-ups for violations. He was called racist names, harassed, and threatened. For a while, he was only sentenced to short stints in solitary confinement, or the dungeon, as I call it. Okay. Then in 2004, instead of seeing the parole board, he was placed in the dungeon, where he has been ever since and is now nine years beyond his minimum. Guards began a routine of starvation, torture, physical and mental abuse, and deprivation of human contact. He was denied meal, mails, commissary, yard, and shower. Guards spit in and put foreign objects in his food. Threats turned to beating and he was physically assaulted numerous times and on one occasion thrown down a flight of stairs breaking his nose. Due to the violent racist environment and his resistance to it, he became a lawyer and an activist. He has filed countless lawsuits against the DLC, which put him in further danger and caused him to be held in the dungeon longer. But he chose to follow the instructions given by his great-grandmother who said, never give up because the day you do is the day you lose. Yes. For the past year, he has been torture-free, but that could change as quickly as a shift change or a transfer. Last year, at SCI Pittsburgh, several, several officers were arrested. One was charged with 92 criminal counts of sexual and physical abuses of more than 20 prisoners. The spokesperson for the DLC claims that this conveys the message that they do not tolerate violence in prison. Well, the DLC not only tolerates abuse, but in fact that is standard operating procedure. These arrests are only the tip of the iceberg. I call it like I see it. The DOC is nothing more than a corrupt system of government-funded racist abuse and torture. I truly believe the Klan, or whatever they like to call themselves, took off their hoods and put on the robes of judges, the uniforms of law enforcement, and the suits of administration. Why hide when you can get a job and torture others for their differences and because they dare question your unethical behavior? Please be aware that the DOC was training ground for Abu Ghraib team leader Charles Grainer. Please believe me when I tell you many prisoners are being abused and their complaints are relatively all the same. Prisoners are being starved, beaten, sexually and physically abused, receiving tainted food containing spit, glass, metal, and urine. Some even suspect being drugged. They are subject to denial of medical and mental health treatment. Prisoners are called nigger and derogatory remarks daily. Camera footage always results in a malfunction where there can be a helpful evidence. The DOC can deny they have no problems or tolerate abuse, but that would be a blatant lie. I've received too many complaints and called too many prisons about loved ones who are being abused. I've asked too many prisoners to hold on to their lives as long as they can. Prisoners who complain or file lawsuits are retaliated against by receiving more misconducts and more time. The grievance system is a joke. A blind eye has been turned too many times by judges, law enforcement, and government officials who have been presented with substantial evidence for years. When the prisoners seek help from these officials, the complaint is sent back to the prison, allowing the DOC to investigate itself. Now really, what do you think the outcome is going to be? Guards conduct contraband searches to remove legal documents from cells of prisoners who have legal cases against the DLC. The property room conveniently loses important legal documents. The COs are so arrogant and lawless that even after an inmate won a monetary lawsuit for physical abuse, they continue to abuse this man. 
For those who approve of torture and think that prisoners deserve it, I say, when someone is adjudicated, they give up their right to live in a free society, not their human rights. You can't cage people and treat them like animals, then point the finger at their action. It makes no sense. With the opening, with the recent opening of yet another unit, it is time to move toward ending solitary altogether. Let's bring solitary to an end. Let's shut all the units down. Woo!